Good morning. Thank you for joining me for another five good minutes with the Word. I'm Barry Bryson. We're continuing our study of the book of Ecclesiastes. We're in chapter 8, and we're going to read verses 10 through 13 today. Chapter 8 is a section in which, at least the beginning of it, is a section in which he's talking about um, navigating the corridors of power, especially as the corridors of power are inhabited by human beings who are evil and who oppress each other and how you have to do the right thing at the right time and you need wisdom and you must keep your integrity and and you need to um, 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 not be uh, a belligerent um, so anyway that's what he said last time uh, then today uh, he's going to be talking about how slow justice is and how long that is. I saw the wicked buried. They used to go in and out of the holy place and were praised in the city where they had done such things. This also is vanity because the sentence against an evil deed is not executed speedily. The heart of the children of man is fully set to do evil. Though a sinner does not does evil a hundred times and prolongs his life, yet I know it will be well with those who fear God, because they fear before him. But it will not be well with the wicked, neither will he prolong his days like a shadow, because he does not fear before God. I think we're having a, a notion of eternity starting to enter into his conversation at this point. He has been strict in discounting it. Every, the only time he's mentioned eternity, he says it, it exists, but it's, it is kept from us. He's limited his conversation to under the sun. And as we continue to say, the choice in the book of Ecclesiastes until the end is not between heaven and hell because there is no eternity in the equation. It's between life and death. And between a, a life well-lived and a life squandered. And this is what he's upset about. Wicked people continue to live. They go to the house of God and praise him. And then they get praised. And... Um, and, but because they're, you know, as being good guys when they aren't good guys, and and justice is not executed swiftly enough. By whom? I think perhaps by God. Um, something about ancient Near Eastern justice. There were lots of prisons. Now Joseph is in prison, you know, uh, for a while. There is a prison there, but I mean, it's not like there were lots of prisons. They did not have an incarceration. Um, culture the way we do. I mean, there weren't millions or thousands or even hundreds of people serving long-term sentences. When you read Hammurabi's code or any of the other ancient codes, you know, um, you didn't get five to ten. You just didn't. You got your hand chopped off or you were executed. And the means of execution um, in, in the ancient Near East, the ones that we know about, um, are drowning, impalement, mutilation, um, being buried alive, um, being burnt alive, and being beheaded, which is the most humane uh, form of uh, execution. And the differences in, 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 in sentences often had to do, as they did even up through medieval times and Renaissance times, because it was true about Henry VIII and his wives. Mercy was shown when you weren't burnt alive but had your head chopped off. That was mercy because it was a preferable death. People didn't. So he's, he's upset that wicked people aren't dying sooner. That's what he's upset about, that wicked people aren't dying sooner. And, and this is vanity. Um, <laughs> I mentioned um, earlier in our study um, um, the, the, um, uh, the Robert Redford movie, Jeremiah Johnson, you know. And Jeremiah's first time he's up on the mountain as a young man, he meets the old mountain man played by Will Gear, who wants to know why he's there, you know. And he, he said, um, he said, um, uh, things ought to have been different. <laughs> to which Will Gear replies, is that so? I mean, what else can you say to that? Of course things ought to be different, but they're not. And there are times in the book of Ecclesiastes when he says things ought to be different than this. And he's raging against the universe, against God's conduct in the universe, although he's not coming right out and saying it. 
That's the thing he's dissatisfied about. But in the minute that he does, in the very second that he does, he says, but I know it's better to fear God. I know that God has justice. I know that it's better to do the right thing. I know things are going to work out. I know that the wicked will get their due and the righteous will be rewarded. I know that. I know that. And, um, and so I, I have not rejected what I believe to be true, that the fear of God and obedience to him is the purpose of humanity. And that's how he ends this passage as well. Okay, we're going to pick up with verse 14 next time. Thank you for joining me for another five good minutes with the word.